hello lovelies welcome back to lifestyle chapter i hope you are all doing well this is your girl frida it's been a while i know you guys have been waiting to watch these videos i'm so sorry i have some stuff coming up so i had to attend to all of them but i'm so glad i'm here with you today again so today i'm going to share with you this quick fix that you can make and it is so delicious that is the egg and tuna tomato sauce that i'm going to share with you this recipe is super delicious as you can see it looks so attractive and you can have this with any accompaniment so lovelies get started started here i have the ingredients displayed over here and uh, all i'll do is i'll just process all of them with this recipe there's not going to be any blending of any ingredients so it makes it simple and quick here i have my pan ready on fire i'm going to add in my cold pressed coconut oil you can use any oil of choice for this recipe and you are good to go so i have in my cold pressed coconut oil which i'm allowing it to melt up it is all melted up i'm going to add in my sliced onions into the oil And also I will add in my crushed garlic. And I'm also adding on my jalapeno peppers. You can use any pepper of choice and you are good. So stirring everything up nicely together. I will leave it in for you to caramelize for about three minutes and to that I'm adding on some all pepper seasoning about a tablespoon of that and then I'm adding a teaspoon of ground ginger also I'm adding on a teaspoon of black pepper so here I'm stirring everything up nicely together for it to cook I will allow it to cook for about two minutes and then i will pour in the diced tomatoes you can see how beautiful it's looking as i told you earlier on this recipe doesn't require any blending of ingredients so here i'm adding on some curry powder about a tablespoon of curry powder to it and stirring it nicely and gently I want everything to mix up well and also I have my cracked eggs ready I cracked six eggs which I'm using for this recipe and so I'm going to beat it up and then I'm adding on some salt you have to be careful of the salt you don't put too much salt in the egg so that your sauce doesn't become salty and then I have my tuna chunk in a tin that I'm cutting with a tin cutter so here I've cut it all round I'm going to drain out the water out of it and this is how it looks I use the top tin to press it down to get all the water out so here you wouldn't get any water in the tuna because I don't want the sauce to be watery. As you can see, everything looks dry in there. So I'll set that aside. Going back to the sauce, as you see, it's all cooking and it's looking good. I'm stirring it nicely and gently. And then to that, I will add on the tuna chunk. I have two tens of tuna chunk, which I'm using. So I'm going to put all of them into the sauce. And mind you, some of these tuna chunk have salt in it. So if you 
get to see that there is salt in it, you have to be mindful of how much salt you put in your sauce. Here I'm stirring everything up nicely and gently to mix up well with the sauce. And then to that, I will add it in the eggs. And when I add it in, I'm not going to stir, I'll just cover it because I want my eggs to be lumpy. As you can see here, after three minutes, I came back to it and I'm stirring it gently. I'm not stirring it all the way through because I don't want my eggs to be crushed into smaller pieces. I want it to I want to feel the lumps. I want to make sure the eggs are lumpy in there. And to that I'm adding on my green and yellow bell peppers to give it more flavor. Actually with this sauce you can add any vegetable you prefer and it's going to taste great so I'll leave it on to cook for about two minutes and then I'll add in some fresh parsley also I'm going to add on some chopped spring onions with the scallions and then I'll stir everything up nicely and beautifully Yeah, you do it gently so you can keep your eggs still lump in there. So lovelies, this is how the egg and tuna sauce is looking. I'll cover it up again for about three minutes and then I'll come back to it. Voila, look how beautiful this is looking. Our sauce is almost done. Everything looks so great. Here I have my roasted plantain that I made using my air fryer. It is actually roasted sweet plantains. As we call it in Ghana, Kofi broke man. It is so delicious. I'm going to enjoy that with my sauce. And lovelies, I bet you can try this and you tell me the results. It is so delicious. So to be on the healthy side, I decided to have my roasted sweet plantains with the tuna and egg sauce. And also I have this coconut rice that I prepared and my kids love it, my family love it. So they are going to enjoy that with the tuna and egg sauce, lovelies. This recipe is delicious. I hope you give it a try. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe and share as well. I hope you enjoy watching every little bit of it. This recipe is a quick fix, as I said before. So it's something that doesn't take much longer to get it done. It is so delicious and so sumptuous. I hope this recipe inspires you to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.